Welcome to YouTube XV1. Up for critical review is Mark Passio in a clip titled The Law of One in Zombie Land. I always found it healthy to spend about an hour alone in a cemetery. That's a healthy activity. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. One of the last concepts that I brought up in this pre presentation was what I called the law of one in zombie land. We've heard of the law of one in the New Age movement. But this is the law of one in zombie land where we actually live. And you hear this all over the place from the New Age movement. Oh, yeah, we're all one, but just believe what you believe and let everybody else go. Don't, have, don't be attached to where, where, what everybody else thinks. And then, therefore, you never teach anybody. You never edify anybody. You never reach out and you never try to influence them and dissuade them from their bullshit religious beliefs. You never give them information. You never turn them on to new material. You never say, watch this podcast, watch this TV show, watch this fucking allegorical movie, read this book, watch this lecture. No. You say... I'm on my path, they're on theirs. And you don't even understand, you're all headed to the same fucking place. That's the law of one. The law of one isn't that there's bifurcation in a million different ways. That's your new age bullshit law of one. The law of one is we're all connected because the whole of humanity is headed to the same fucking place, moron. You're too dumb to even fucking see that. You think because you're in your new age bullshit religion that you're going to end up in a different fucking environment than the fucking people who are low life ignoramus fucking assholes with zero spirituality? who just want to bring more and more enslavement down upon humanity? You think that makes somehow, somehow th the universe is just going to bifurcate just for you? Because you, you got a message they didn't get, right? You never tried to teach them because that's their journey and yours is yours alone. And, and you think you're going to end up in a different fucking place. We're all headed to the same fucking hell, loser. This is the loser bullshit you bought into in your new age junkie religion. You're a junkie shooting false Luciferian spirituality into your fucking arm. That's what you are. You're, you're a feel-good religious junkie. Alternative religion. You have a feel-good alternative religion. It's called new ageism. And what we teach is everybody's one, except don't go try to convince anybody of anything. Don't influence his thought. Don't influence these zombies' thoughts. No, never do that. Because you're on your path and they're on theirs. And as long as we talk with a nice, lilty voice and we don't try to influence anybody, and we don't try to tell them your head's up your ass and you don't really know and you just think you know, but you're a bullshit religionist and you're just swallowing a bunch of untruth down the fucking gullet it goes. And I'm a new ager who says there's going to be this great Spiritual bifurcation. Those people are going where they're going, and I'm going where I'm going. And you think you represent oneness. You think that represents togetherness. You think that represents care. You think that represents true love. You think that represents true spirituality. You think that represents knowledge, wisdom, understanding of what's going on, true care. You don't have a fucking morsel of any of it in your fucking entire existence. In your whole fucking makeup. You don't have one morsel of any of those things. You're completely ensconced in a made-up Luciferian bullshit version of spirituality, which is Satanism. You're a Satanist. You've been converted into Satanism and you don't even know. I just follow my bliss and whatever the greatest idea of my life is. And I just make that and fuck everybody else because they don't subscribe to my bullshit religious beliefs. And so they're going to experience what they experience and the whole society isn't going to affect me. It's not like I'm enslaved by this whole system. No. There's going to be a bifurcation. You see? And there's an ascension where we're separating from them, and there's going to be two Earths or five Earths or five billion Earths. I'm going to shove each one up my ass and juggle them. That's what I need for the last show. I need to juggle. I mean, where's some stuff that I can juggle? You know, we'll put on a nice fucking clown act for you today.
I mean, it's so retarded. You people are so fucked up. And you don't even understand how fucked up your mindset is. You're just fucked up. You've been given a completely false version of reality. A false spiritual system so that you'll sit with your hands up your ass doing nothing and saying that you're spiritual. There's nothing spiritual in what you believe or do. Your low lives. Your fucking selfish low lives. You don't know what true care is. You don't have agape care. You have total fucking selfishness. You're only worried about yourself and your fucking ascension and bifurcation, which ain't never going to happen, by the way. You're going to be in the same slave pen with everybody the fuck else, moron. Because you're a fucking Satanist and you've been converted to the Satanic ideology without you even knowing or understanding what happened to your fucking lowlife, sorry, dumb fucking ass. And again, just put the lilty voice on it and then it's all true, you know? The law of one in Zombieland is about that we are, unfortunately, attached to those who are unconscious and unaware. It's not just about cutting them loose, letting them go. As unpopular as it is to hear for many people, and I should have the word as it is to hear for many people, we live in a shared reality and we will all share the same societal fate. If we want to change the world for the better without experiencing large-scale societal disaster, our one great work lies in waking the walking dead. We have to wake up the fucking zombies. We have to wake up the dead. We have to wake up the NPCs, the non-player characters. We have to wake up people who haven't been paying attention since fucking second one. Why would you ever believe that the answer lies in anything else except the communication of knowledge to the ignorant? You still don't grasp that, you dumb, lard, luddite asses. You lo- you dumb, lard, ass, luddard morons. You still don't get that the answer is the communication of spiritual knowledge and the communication of natural law and objective morality to the mindless, fucktard, zombie horde masses of this fucking planet. That's why it's called the one great work, because it's unimaginably difficult to do. And we blew it. We failed at it past tense. You had a chance to do it over the last 20 motherfucking years, losers. And what you guys did is said, that's for other people to do. Mark, you're an agent because you talk about morality and you won't talk about that the earth's flat. Mark, the earth's flat, Mark. (laughs) And Mark Patio is an agent because he'll never say that. We can't bring him into our cult. And he just keeps telling us that we're wrong. And that's why he's got to be an agent. Because the CIA couldn't have given us our religion. We know that's impossible. And therefore, uh, natural law might as well be thrown out the window too. Because if he's saying that that's real and the earth's not flat, then uh, that can't be true. Yeah. Yep. That's where we're at, kids. That's where we're at. And you guys don't know, and you guys don't fucking care, and you guys didn't lift a fucking finger to help. All this fucking time you had to start, and you didn't lift a fucking finger to help because you're just scum. You're just fucking scum. Napalm Death said it right. As, as, As off the track as they went later, you know, their first album, Fucking Scum, called people what they are. And they called fucking people for just taking the fucking paycheck and helping these motherfuckers do what they're doing. It just can be summed up in one word. Scum. You know? That's it. And, you know, this fucking loser here, whatever his fucking name was, one of the worst characters in the history of fucking graphic novels. Don't go down his path. He's sure to get you fucking dead on day one. Sure to get you fucking killed. Rick. Rick. My favorite. 
What a fucking loser. But, you know, he's he's looking at The Walking Dead and he's saying, you're telling me that we're all one? C- couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. And you want to talk about a guy that doesn't understand a survival scenario. You know? Ugh. Ugh. Is all I have. Where's the vomit puppet when you need him? Rick came up on the screen. Where's my vomit puppet? I think I threw up in my mouth a little. <clears throat> but anyway, the the graphic tells the story. He's looking at you like, seriously, we got to wake this up? This is what we have to wake up? This is what we have to work with? Yeah, there's your prima materia in the alchemical process there, Rick. You got to wake up the fucking zombies. Uh, did you get to work on that yet? No. You didn't. That's why you guys are like fucking Rick and the effectiveness of him as a leader in your movement. Yeah. You did great. You did fucking nothing. You, you, you know the movie Midnight Run? That's one of my favorite movies of all time. I just recently rewatched it. I love the part where uh, the, the, the bounty, uh, the guy who makes the bail bonds. He says to De Niro's character, the bounty hunter, he said, you could have fucking walked him backwards. You had three days to get here. You could have walked him backwards across the country to L.A., from New York to L.A. in that amount of time. You could have walked him backwards. You guys could have walked humanity backwards to the solution, and you didn't fucking do it. You had enough time to walk humanity backwards, you know? You could have gotten them there in time, and you didn't fucking bother. And that's why, just like De Niro's character answers, he says, don't fuck with me or I will shoot him and I will dump him in the fucking swamp. And that's probably what, what we, all we have left to do with humanity. Shoot it dead and dump it in the fucking swamp. And so that's about all you're going to do in the time remaining anyway.